All right, everybody, here's that Chevy Silverado that we had heard failed to yield. We're seeing some hands at least come out of the passenger side of the truck. Friendly reminder, viewer discretion is advised. The driver's also coming out with his hands up, it appears, to be a man. White Chevy Silverado Skyfox picture coming in and out, but it looks like these two people in this truck are surrendering. Friendly reminder, though, viewer discretion is advised. I am going to update this lower third. If anybody pulls a weapon here, we will be switching off of it. But definitely looks like a male driver. Hands up. And it looks like a shirtless passenger, perhaps. Kind of sticking out of the truck. Again, Skyfox live picture coming in and out. Pretty far northbound on I-17. And if it was a pursuit to everybody, it looks like we missed it. Not quite sure if they are fast forwarding, rewinding, possibly giving some video playback here, Skyfox. So again, not quite sure if this is live, so I'm gonna change that graphic. But whoever was driving got out, backed up, hands up, passenger put a shirt on. It looks like he was saying something talking to the driver perhaps or officers but looks like a peaceful surrender at least what we're watching right now again not sure if this is live because Skyfox had to go so far north on interstate 17 they could be feeding this back as video everybody if there was a pursuit we missed it we didn't actually see any DPS troopers on these gentlemen's tails. Skyfox, zoom out. There we go. There they all are. Wow, that's quite a few of them. One, two, three, four. Guns are drawn, so I cannot emphasize enough that viewer discretion is advised. They are likely waiting for that passenger to safely comply with commands and surrender. That driver is already in front of that far left DPS SUV on his knees, may or may not lie down depending on what they ask him to do. Nope, but he is in custody, handcuffed. And now they're just trying to get this passenger. Again, everybody, I'm not quite sure if this is live or not. So we are just uh, kind, of, kind of just watching here. One of two of the men there in that white truck has surrendered. This call originally came in as failure to yield, which means uh, they attempted, at least officers attempted to pull the truck over and the driver and the passenger. They decided not to. They went for a ride up the Interstate 17 northbound. And I'm getting word that we're gonna be joining the Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live any moment. As soon as I see that notification, I'll alert everybody again with what's going on. But you do see DPS troopers there with weapons drawn. Good evening, everybody, and thanks so much for watching News Now, which is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com. We're getting these aerials from Skyfox. Pretty far north on Interstate 17. We're not quite sure if this is live or not. If it's being fed back as video, it's possible because parts of this look like it could be sped up or slowed down. This call initially came in as failure to yield I-17 northbound near Indian School. The vehicle is that white Chevy Silverado that you see. And then the truck, well, the driver of that truck who's already surrendered to police on the far left-hand side of your screen in front of that very first SUV, the one. So if you were facing the truck, the one on the farthest left, but the one furthest away, furthest at the top of the screen. Troopers do have their 
weapons drawn, so I cannot emphasize enough viewer discretion is advised. They are just trying to get that man who was a passenger in that truck to also surrender. That man was shirtless when we first started watching and looks like he could be arguing with officers. At first we thought that he was talking to the driver of the truck, but now it just appears that he's going back and forth with Arizona DPS troopers. Took Sky Fox quite some time to get this far northbound. We're hearing it was further north than Joe Max. So if you're familiar with driving up to Northern Arizona, Flagstaff area, perhaps I-17. And I'd like to remind everybody, this isn't just rush hour traffic time, but ADOT, that's Arizona Department of Transportation, has said that from 1 to 9 p.m. today is going to be the heaviest holiday traffic, Thanksgiving travel, everybody trying to get to their friends, their family, holiday destinations. And so it looks like at least the northbound lanes here where it's narrowed down to two lanes are closed on Interstate 17. Well, we tried to get this situation resolved. Sky Fox a little bit frozen here. I'm getting word that there could be a, a better picture here in just a second. There we go. That? Yeah. that person is now on the hood of that truck, and I thought he was wearing some short, some sort of like vest or shirt, and now it doesn't appear that is the case. So again, I cannot emphasize enough, viewer discretion is advised. This is live, it's raw, it's unedited, at least as far as we know it is live. And so we are really hoping for the best here. We're hoping this suspect surrenders, just like the driver already has. The driver was already taken into custody, put into handcuffs, but we don't know about this man who was passenger. Definitely looks like he's arguing with DPS troopers, Arizona Department of Public Safety. This came in as a failure to yield call. Again, this all started off of I-17 northbound near Indian School. Driver of that truck kept the truck going northbound on Interstate 17. Then we heard it went further past Joe Max, and then now we don't know exactly how far up. It did take Sky Fox some time to get there, and the signal is coming in and out. Just got confirmation, everybody, that this is live from Sky Fox. It's not being fed back.
Okay, our viewership has definitely jumped here on News Now, which is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Ever since we went live on the Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live, and I changed the YouTube stream name. You see four Arizona Department of Public Safety trooper vehicles, SUVs to be exact, surrounding this one white Chevy Silverado truck. When we first learned about this incident, it was a failure to yield call. So they tried to pull over this truck for some reason or another. Truck decided not to stop, kept going northbound on Interstate 17. When we first heard about it, it was I-17 northbound at Indian School. And then we learned they'd gone further north to I-17 and Joe Max. And now we believe they're even further north than that. Took Sky Fox quite some time to get there. Signal has been cutting in and out, which is why it took us a while to confirm that this is indeed live. But it looks like they're far enough north where the I-17 is only two lanes and it's completely shut down. So if you are on I-17, hopefully you're a passenger watching the News Now stream. But hey, some people can turn on their Bluetooth and listen to News Now like radio, right? So if you're listening and or watching News Now and you're trying to get up the I-17 northbound, feel free to tweet us. Facebook, Instagram us. News Now is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com, so the Fox 10 Phoenix social media pages, or News Now has our own social media pages. If you've heard anything, if you've seen anything, if there was a chase, a pursuit, and you happen to witness it, send us your pictures and your videos to Fox 10 Phoenix. We'd really appreciate it. The driver of this truck has already surrendered. This, what appears to be young man here, was passenger, shirtless at first, and then put on a vest-looking thing, and now appears to be shirtless again. Was dancing on the hood of the truck for a while. DPS troopers do have weapons drawn, so I cannot emphasize enough that viewer discretion is advised. Again, my name is Pilar Arias. We are watching this live, raw, unedited. 588 watching on YouTube. Let's check in with the Fox 10 Phoenix viewers, 1,700 of you. And I'd like to read some of the viewer comments while I get a chance. Let's see here. One person saying, unleash the hounds. Another saying, this has to be near Black Canyon City. I was looking for a mile marker too. Another viewer asking, who is this talking? My name is Pilar Arias. Happy to be here with you this evening. 527 on the dot, just as I was speaking there. Another viewer saying this is north, the Carefree Highway. We do like to respond to viewer comments and questions. We are trying to see if we can get an ADOT, that's Arizona Department of Transportation camera, close to the scene. Friendly reminder, our viewers are not just in Phoenix or in Arizona. We have a worldwide audience here on News Now. Almost 300,000 subscribers. This is what we do Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Arizona time. If it's breaking, if we have a live picture of it, we bring it to you. We'll let you watch. Come up with uh, your own opinions. One viewer says, looks like he's having a Thanksgiving in jail. Again, not quite sure what one or both of these men were wanted for. The call originally came in as failure to yield. And uh, we're getting all sorts of people tuning in now, even other media in the Phoenix area. I'm trying to see, I'm gonna go to the ADOT Twitter and see if they have said anything about the traffic conditions on I-17. You'd think with this police situation, they would have. Uh, their last update was 18 minutes ago, doesn't appear. 28 minutes ago ahead of that, and then uh, 28 minutes, 31 minutes. So far, nothing on the ADOT Twitter mentioning I-17. 49 minutes ago, they, they said I-17 northbound near McDowell. There was a crash restricting the right lane, but Other than that, uh, we're just waiting for some info and some confirmation. I'm not quite sure if DPS troopers still have guns drawn. If so, I believe one of the troopers standing 
behind an SUV might have a weapon drawn. But with live feeds like this, we cannot emphasize enough that viewer discretion is advised. We are hoping nobody gets shot here. We're hoping nobody gets hurt, but we're watching this live. Going to continue to check in with some of the uh, viewer comments. One asking if we can get any closer. Skyfox likely is not zoomed in for a reason. Another person asking, what's on top of the truck? I don't know if anything is on top of the truck. It could just be chipped paint. Um, someone checking in from Victorville, California. Hello. And another asking where News Now is. News Now is based in Phoenix, Arizona. It is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com. So hello to our neighbors to the west, Los Angeles, California, checking in. Uh, one viewer commenting, this guy might drive off. Another saying, I-17 goes to two lanes after New River, so at least between New River and Black Canyon City. This person is very familiar with driving to Northern Arizona. Thank you for that comment. Another saying, DPS is talking to the driver in custody, trying to get as much intel on the remaining suspect. For example, weapons in the vehicle, etc. cetera. Of course, it will not change the felony takedown procedure. Sounds like that person has a lot of insight on police work. One viewer asking if it's a stolen truck. Another saying, get him before it gets dark. Again, you're watching this all unfold live on News Now, which is part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Someone from uh, Mississippi checking in. Another saying, Arizona transplant in North Carolina now. I do not have any direct communication with Skyfox, everybody, so I can't tell them to zoom in or zoom out, unfortunately. Really, really cool if we could. Someone checking in from Davidson, North Carolina. So it's just, uh, it just shows you we have viewers worldwide, nationwide. You never know where people are watching from. Uh, one person asking if the vehicle is disabled. We do not know. Again, this initially came in as a failed to yield call. So they tried to pull this truck over. Truck kept going northbound on I-17, started at Indian School, then they checked in at Joe Max, and then it went further north than that. So a lot of viewers now at least having some sort of idea as to where this could happen. Another saying ADOT doesn't have cameras in that area. I believe uh, we're getting word we might know which exit this is, but our furthest north camera, I-17 at Anthem, showing traffic conditions. Looks like things are still moving smoothly in the valley. One viewer saying, I don't see why they're holding up traffic if they can't drive the armed truck up there. Uh, one viewer saying it's not that hard to see where they're at. It's Dewey City limits off the I-17. Hey, Jen, how does the fire set fire save name? Jen, oh, Geyser. Geyser? Yeah. Geyser. Tucson, Arizona, checking in. Elmo, Utah. The driver is not in the truck, everybody. The man who was behind the wheel when all of this started has already surrendered. We call it lower third, that graphic on your screen. One has already surrendered, one is in custody. Another viewer asking, why don't all for four police cars drive up to him? Wow, someone checking in from Liberia. Another checking in from Baltimore. One viewer suggesting that uh, DPS troopers should pop the tires. Highway patrol, absolutely, that's what's going on here. Southside Phoenix checking in. Someone's checking in from freezing yellow, yellow knife, Canada? Yuma checking in. Oceanside, California saying hello. Oklahoma City. Yes, this is the passenger that we are waiting for to surrender. Definitely see some DPS troopers there huddled, probably trying to come out with a next plan of action. This man that we are waiting to surrender was arguing with troopers there for a bit. 
One viewer saying, I'm watching from Jersey. Why are they not going to get him? Glendale, Arizona, checking in. Hanover, Pennsylvania. Daytona Beach, Florida. We're watching this live, everybody. It does appear the freeway is shut down northbound. Got a viewer in Minnesota, and there's no way I can properly pronounce that city name. A viewer asking why this man went back into the truck. He never left the truck. Well, technically he did when he was dancing around on the hood in the bed for a bit. Friendly reminder, viewer discretion is advised. My name is Pilar Arias. You're watching News Now, which is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Someone from Pittsburgh saying hello. <laughs> We are working to get you some more information, but we do know this is probably pretty close to Black Canyon City. It took Sky Fox a while to get there. Definitely where I-17 goes down to two lanes northbound and uh, starting to get dark out there. Someone in Ohio saying hello. Headlights still on in the truck. Not quite sure if there's something on that windshield. Uh, appears to have been a lighter lit up right there, folks. Sky Fox doing their best to provide us a live picture here, but when this man is not giving up, kind of makes you worry for the safety of the officers, the DPS troopers there. One viewer saying, waiting on the canine. God bless all of our law enforcement. Another saying, it's looking smoky in the cab. We don't want to see any violence here, everybody. We want everyone to be safe and sound. I'm seeing a, uh, what looks like a shield coming out. Four DPS trooper SUVs. So now that Skyfox has rotated, changed the angle. Oop, okay, this SUV is slowly approaching, slowly approaching everybody. I cannot emphasize viewer discretion enough. Viewer discretion, everybody, viewer discretion. We don't want to see any violence here, but this is live, raw, unedited. They are approaching this suspect. We have now learned that this is near exit 268. For those of you familiar with I-17, it looks like they're trying to get the SUV closer to him before they get any of the troopers close. I do see a shield out, and uh, they're just trying to get this guy out of the trucks. Yep, they busted the window open, and they're trying to get him out so they can reopen the freeway. and they're trying to get the door open. I haven't seen any pepper spray or anything deployed yet. The driver's side door is locked. They're probably gonna smash that window too. Yep. They cannot get this guy out of this truck, everybody. They're having a difficult time here. DPS troopers have the truck surrounded at this point. And uh, they just wanna make sure that everybody can get to their Thanksgiving destination. They wanna stay safe as well. Passenger door now open and back door of the truck cab now open as well looks like a crew cab could be yeah and uh they're probably going to be pulling out this guy any second here but definitely a struggle guy danced on the hood of the truck bed of the truck for a while didn't want to surrender you saw him arguing with troopers and uh, we have learned that this is one hour north of phoenix the i'm not sure if i'm going to say this right ormy road exit o-r-m-e 268 One viewer is saying, officers, please be safe. And it looks like the suspect is on the ground there, shirtless. They've got him in handcuffs. And uh, 
they will likely try their best to wrap up the investigation as quickly as possible so they can reopen the freeway. Again, this is I-17 near ORME, I believe it's Orme Road, exit 268. You saw it live here on News Now, which is part of fox10phoenix.com. One viewer saying, all's well that ends well. Officers okay, suspect okay. Another saying, thank God no officers were harmed. Another viewer saying it's about two miles north of Cordes Junction. Another asking how long the backup is on I-17. I'm gonna check ADOT, their Twitter account, see if they're saying anything. ADOT not taking a Twitter about this incident, everybody. As long as Sky Fox is flying, we'll stay there. I don't think that's too much longer, though. I think they need to come back to the valley for some fuel because they're about an hour northbound of Phoenix drive time. Everybody, please stay safe out there. Have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Travel safely. If you're in this, back up on the freeway. Feel free to send us your pictures and videos. There's that other suspect there, the one that just did not want to surrender. Still looks like he's fighting with officers a little bit there. And... Uh, Everybody's safe. Two men in custody. Skyfox likely leaving here any second now.